Hey guys, welcome back to Chateau Let's Play. I'm Lucas and we're playing Shovel Knight. We're gonna play as Shovel Knight. We may play as Plague Knight in the future if I get there. Um, um, but we're gonna play through Shovel Knight Quest. It's very exciting. Oh. Um, and no. <laughs> um. Um. I don't know what to name him. God damn it, I'm so bad at this. This is why I need someone else here. Um. Poopy. God. Okay, we're gonna be poopy night. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight quest. Very exciting. Everybody likes Shovel Knight. Um, yeah, long ago the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Damn, son, Shield Knight looks good. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed. And Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into the life of solitude. Damn, son, he didn't even go look for her. I have played this game before. With but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her order of no quarter. <laughs> Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Our adventure! Our adventure with Shovel Knight! Boo 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 boo! Uh, snap! Um, so I have played this game before, many times in fact. Um, I haven't beaten New Game Plus just yet. Uh, I was working on a no continues, uh, no, um... There's like a, you can break all of the continues and it gives you some gems when you do, but then if you die in the level, you have to start all the way back. Um, I was working on doing that for every continue in the game, uh, version. Uh, when I decided, you know what, I might as well just play this for the channel. Um, I, I, I dig Shovel Knight. Um, the, the sprite animations in this game are so cool. It handles like a dream. I just finished beating the Plague Knight expansion, which was released for free because they did so well with their Kickstarter. And, man, it's such a different game. Um, this is not one of the breakable ones, but we'll show you what it looks like when you can break them. When they have the wings, you can't break them. Um, Plague Knight handles so differently from Shovel Knight. It makes the game less like... Like, this is like a classic platforming game where you jump and then you fall, and there's not a lot you can do about that. Um... Plague Knight has this thing where you can, like, fly indefinitely. And it's sort of weird. He's weird. It's a weird... Um, it's really good. I like it a lot. And I'm excited for the more expansions. Um, um, so the Kickstarter went off. Plague Knight's one of the enemies in Shovel Knight. Um, but the Kickstarter did so well that... Um, the Kickstarter did so well that one of the one of the um, stretch goals was that they would add a, a playable campaign for um, for one of the bosses, and they did so well that they earned four they earned four all of the stretch goals. They earned all of the stretch goals. Um, so there's going to be four free release DLC content um, campaigns with um, some of the bosses from this game. With one with two more of the bosses. They already did the Plague Knight expansion. Also, another thing that makes this game good is the, the fucking music, man. It's so tight. Um, I really hope that you guys can hear the music. Sometimes there's problems with our capture and the music on these games. But I think that, I think that I've got most of it worked out by now. Um, so it should do alright. Um, how are you guys? I'm doing alright. 
at the time of recording this, I literally just got out of a meeting where I was cast in a Universal Studios uh, Christmas show, which is very exciting, right? I'd say very exciting. Um, I'm very excited by it, for sure. So, <laughs> it's, it's fun. We start rehearsing, like, tomorrow, I think. Um, they're putting the show together, like, really fast. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking because there's, it's, it's like me doing some comic relief and these other guys who are, like, serious, like, really good drummers and we're gonna be, we're gonna be, like, fighting. <laughs> Not fighting, but, like, there's a show around it. I'm, like, the Napoleon Dynamite character in a marching band who's, like, bad at stuff and I'm playing the cymbals. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but it's very exciting. Um, not just because I found a job, but also because it pays pretty well, and it's a job, it's an acting job, which I wasn't really even looking for. Um, so that's, that's really exciting, uh, to not, to not be sort of like, just like homelessly vagranting around anymore, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, geez. Uh, and it's park work, which is fun, and I'll be surrounded by other actors, hopefully, so who knows? Come say hi to me! If you're ever in Universal Studios area in December and a little bit of January, I believe, uh, come say hi to me in the Christmas show. I don't know very much about it because the show hasn't been built yet. It's basically devised theater um, that we're gonna we're gonna build it as we go. But um, the director, who is the the person that that cast me, I'm the first person cast. He's casting the rest of the show tonight. Um, um, the director. Uh, I have lost, I completely lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Also, I almost just walked into that guy, which would have been bad because I still haven't gotten hit yet. And if I can do this level without getting hit, I get an uh, achievement. And I was thinking about trying to completion this game. Um, but man, some of the achievements for Shovel Knight are um, intense. They're like, beat the whole game without, um, without dying, or beat the whole game without ever falling into a pit, which I suppose overlaps, so if you did one of those, you'd do the others. Um, but that's not easy to do. It's not a particularly easy game. It's not super difficult, but it's the pits that always get you. I always die in the pits. Um, I almost never die just running out of life, which is why I was trying to do the checkpoint one first. Yeah, okay, that's the guy that usually hurts me. If I can beat Black Knight without getting hurt, which is the other part that's that's hard, um, then I'll get the take no damage achievement, I think. You guys have been watching. Have I taken any damage this game? Ha ha. Ha ha. Skeleton just walked off the edge. Damn. Um So part of the um part of the show is that I'm gonna have to do the dance from Napoleon Dynamite. Um <laughs> Not exactly, not like, move perfect, the dance, but that's what he told me to learn. <laughs> so, like, probably I will be doing the dance. Um, he said, I will be doing exactly the dance unless the choreographer decides to change it. Like, and he said that she probably will, but it, he said if it was up to him, then I would just do the Napoleon Dynamite dance, which is pretty funny. Oh man, almost fell down there. Um... So, yeah, go watch the Napoleon Dynamite dance and imagine me doing that. Um, I don't not look like John Heater. I've been compared to him in the past. So, good. Uh, we'll see what that is like. Um, it's all happening very fast, which is exciting and scary. Oh man, I think I made it to Black Knight without getting hurt, so I have to just beat him. Which I've never done without getting hurt, and then, and then I will have that achievement, which is a tough one. Okay, just gotta take it like, just take it easy, you know? Just like, damn it, damn it, damn it, I got hit. You guys saw. Now I can just like wail on him, because there's no way that I'm dying here. Boom! Black Knight defeated! Um, so that's very exciting. 
Uh, apart from that, I don't know how to mail a package, so that's exciting too. Um, apparently, I sent I sent a a painting in the mail, and I filed a claim with the post office because it didn't arrive, and apparently I didn't even address it to an address. So I now have to file a lost package claim to try to find that package, which I have very few hopes of actually achieving. <laughs> um, catch her! Um, I don't... I don't know if catching her actually does anything, because I think you can actually wake up before the dream and just, like, cancel the dream. Um, but maybe not, so you never know. Yeah, we're not going to do any sort of, like, special, like, destroy all the checkpoints run. We're just going to play through Shovel Knight, because, man, Shovel Knight's cool, um, but I want to just, like, get, just, like, play the game, you know? It's annoying for you guys, um... To watch me die over and over, which is what happens in those play th playthroughs. Maybe we'll try a no death playthrough, but I mean, that's just like, you just eventually, I guess, get it. Um, this is the bard! He takes your sheet music from you and gives you gold for the ones that you collect, so do that. I know a lot of the secrets, but not all of the secrets in this game, because there's a ton, because it's uh, modeled after Super Nintendo games. I think except for a few of the colors that they use, it could have been on Super Nintendo. So that's exciting. Um, but I'm going to see you guys next time. Next time on Chateau Let's Play, we're going to eat that meal ticket. We're going to eat the meal we just purchased to increase our life. Goodbye. See you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.